Good day, everybody. So now we're going to talk about the sample standard deviation. So the sample standard deviation works very similar to the population. But if you remember your terminology from the previous section, the sample was always smaller than the population. All right. So in this case, when we're trying to find the sample standard deviation, it's always going to be one less than your population. So, and the, the terminology is still very, still very similar. Um, it's just S represents a sample standard deviation. X bar, which is X with this little line on top, that represents the average of your sample. And then summation is still the same. On the bottom, that N minus one, you're just going to take one less, or you know, take your population and subtract one from it. So, let's look at a problem here. So we have a table, and it's a record of the number of miles driven between stops for gas and the amount of money that's spent to fill up the gas tank in Amelia's car. So um, the question asks us to find the sample standard deviation of the independent variable. So you got to recall, you got to think about it, what's your independent variable? Well, the number of miles that you drive depends on how much gas you have in your car. So if you have a half a tank, you can only drive so many miles. But if you have a full tank, you could drive more miles. So the amount of miles that you have depends on how many or how much gas you have in your car. And of course, how much gas you have in your car, uh, of course, is the cost. All right. So in this particular problem, your independent variable is the miles that you drive or the miles that Amelia drives. So now we're going to figure out all the bits and pieces of our standard deviation. So the first part, we got to find the mean. All right, so that means we got to figure out 344 plus 285 plus 401 plus 385 divided by four. Yeah, so when we add up all the numbers, we get 1,415 on the top and then divided by four. So when we divide that out, we get 353.75. That would be our sample mean. So in this formula, our sample mean is denoted by X bar. Step two, figuring out that N minus one. So we have four numbers that we're dealing with and we subtract one from it. So that means the bottom number on our fraction would be three. Now, step three is when we go out and start plugging in all this information into our standard deviation formula. All right. Now, our sample standard deviation equals the square root of 344 minus 353.75 squared plus 285 minus 353.75 squared plus 401 minus 353 Point seven five squared plus three eighty five minus three fifty three point seven five squared. All right, and then guess what? Whole thing inside the square root. Divided by three. Okay. So it's a lot of arithmetic, but we got the hard part done. We got the arithmetic put into the formula. So now we just gotta actually do the arithmetic. So the first part, 344 minus 353.75. Well, that gets me still inside the square root. It's 
a negative 9.75 squared 285 minus 353.75. That gets me a negative 68.75 squared. 401 minus 353.75. Positive 47.25 squared plus 385 minus 353.75. 31.25 squared, and still inside the square root, divided by 3. All right, so now, nine, negative 9.75 squared All right, so negative 9.75 squared, that gets you a 95.0625. I go out to four decimal places, but that's just me. Uh, typically, two decimal places work just fine. Negative 68.75 squared, that's going to be a big number. So that's going to be plus... 4,726.5625 and then 47.25 squared, 2,232.5625 and then 31.25 squared, 976. Five six two five, and still all over three inside that square root. So now we get to add up all those numbers on the top. So ninety five point zero six two five plus four thousand seven hundred twenty six point five six two five two thousand two hundred and thirty two point five six two five. And 976.5625. So that on the top part, top of our fraction, we have a total of 8,030.75, still divided by 3, inside that square root. So inside the square root, 8,030.75 divided by 3. That gets us, still the square root of 2,676.9166. And then we take the square root of that. We get roughly 51.7389. Okay. So that right there is the sample standard deviation of the miles that Amelia has driven by filling up her tank, okay? So that right there is a sample standard deviation. Something to keep in mind, with standard deviation in particular, there's a lot of arithmetic involved. You have to be very careful on your arithmetic because it is so easy to make a mistake. Trust me, it is extremely easy to make a mistake. So um, as always, you know, reach out to me in your office forms. I'm happy to help, and uh, hopefully this helps.